it sounds so simple. It mm. really does. You're prepared. Do your job. Figure right. it out. Why? Why don't other organizations do it? I mean, you played for so many other organizations. Why? Why don't others do what you're well, describing? Perfect example. This is why Pop would rather a Kawhi Leonard than a James Harden, because he know this guy's going to play hard on both ends of the court. He's not worrying about scoring points. He's not worrying about being fat, being a, a, a fashion guy. Pop wants guys that love the game of basketball and that's going to play the right way. And you see all these teams that skipped out on Kawhi. You see all the teams that didn't sign me. He knows those certain guys that he can bring in that's going to be glue guys and that's going to play the game and play the game the right way. And he'll skip on a James Harden 10 times for a Kawhi. <laughs> He's just something he knows about the game. Him and R.C. Buford. So it's the people he brings in and coaches them in a certain way as opposed to what, so why can't other organizations adopt a similar style? I mean, it's mm, uh, other like that's the, a good question. I mean, the, the Hawks took uh, Budenholzer right. from from the, the Spurs. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it, can, from what you tell, are, are, is he trying to build a, a similar style They're in trying Atlanta? To. They're trying to in Atlanta, but pop level of respect is so high. Now, Buzz won a championship. He, you know, he, he, he's an understudy of Pop. No question. He knows everything Pop, the Pop teaches. It, but at the same time, he's not Pop. Hmm. And Pop is the type of guy that will get in your face, curse you out, all that. Bud is not that guy, you know. And you, so you can't – that's stuff you can't teach. You have to be born with that. Like I say, being a leader, you have to be born with it. You can't, be, you can't get taught how to be a leader. You have to be born with it. And Pop has that. And he has a lot of things that you can't teach and you can't explain. You know, even like I said, it's, it's amazing that – I respect an older white guy, and he knows me more than anybody, and we're from two different parts of the earth. But I respect him so much, and if I didn't play for Pop, I don't think I would have had a 14-year career. I don't think I would have lasted that long because I didn't understand, you know, what was important and what the game was about. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. If you liked some of that, get some more of that on the Rich Eisen Show app. Follow all the information you see right here on The Rich Eisen Show.